Hey everyone, we're back in the workshop after a uh, beautiful weekend at the Gold Coast 500 and what a stellar weekend it was, wasn't it Matthew? It was very, very good indeed. It was very a good. beautiful weekend. We had very fast cars and we rolled out with beautiful pace and uh, we kept going and we ended up winning a race in the end. It was mm -hmm. magical. How do you think you went for your very first time there? We get like, you know, everyone builds it up like it's a really scary place and everything, yeah. but did you find it? as difficult um, as what everyone makes it out to be? Yeah, to be fair, it probably was, like the first practice session was pretty hard. Like, I've never really, I haven't done many street tracks in my life, and that was like, four. The, the walls <laughs> are close, you know, the curbs are big. And you know, like the first practice session when I rolled out, I was like, oh man, this is, uh, that's it. it's but a wild I, place. I think I thought it was cool, rather than like, challenging. Challenging, you know? like, yeah. I was just enjoying like, oh man, there's heaps of buildings around, it's like, an area I know so it was um, it was really special but yeah we like you said we had really good pace we rolled out fast we uh, yeah qualified me in the shootout yeah I did yeah. for your very first time yeah you bugger yeah I got you yeah, <laughs> yeah. um, I know he knows me but um, yeah from from my side like we had a really good weekend um, made both of the shootouts uh, with, with really good car speed and qualifying and um, yeah probably didn't quite maximise what we had on the race on Saturday um, just with like that, that penalty I got um, passing James into the into the chicane and yeah probably a couple of other things in that race which sort of led to you know the, the ninth place I got but it was um, really good on Sunday to sort of come back and uh, and get my personal best result which is which was fourth and uh, well felt like a podium for me when I was like right there behind waters i was trying so hard to, to get <laughs> from past them but um yeah it was um i couldn't have couldn't have been any any more happier of how the weekend went so um dave tell us uh, how, how did you get on uh, yeah Very i got well. on pretty well actually um yeah i think when you look at it as the bigger picture we were the highest performing team out of anyone we made we were the only team to make both shootouts and we probably accrued more points than everyone else mm -hmm. combined so you know it's a huge successful weekend for us obviously on the sunday we end up winning the race my car was beautiful in the first two stints and that kind of set it up to get in front of Brody in the last stint but um something went a bit funny in my car and um my car wasn't the very best at, in the last stint but somehow we managed to hang on to win the race and it was a really good battle uh, between myself and him but um yeah it's been been five years since i won a race so it's been it feels like my first one first win again it's a strange feeling but I think that's the first time in five years that you know I've actually had a car that could have won. Like on sad day after finishing mm -hmm. third, I'm like, all oh, right, if we make my car a little bit better, I think we can actually win this. And then sure enough, my car was a little bit better on Sunday. We qualified second, and uh, yeah, we ended up winning the race, which was <laughs> unbelievable. But it's kind of been um, set up pretty, pretty much since Sandown. You know, we had a really good Sandown race. You know, obviously the wheel fell off our car, but he ended up fifth, and the setup was pretty good. Um, and then Bathurst, you know, our cars were pretty speedy. And then obviously at the Gold Coast race, the, the category gave us a, uh, a different rear wing and a different yeah. sort of aero package, yeah. which, which actually allowed us to race with the Camaros. So if that didn't happen, I doubt I'd, we'd be sitting here saying how fantastic no. our weekend was. Um, you know, Al was screaming on the radio yeah. and you can hear everyone screaming on the radio when he opened the channel and yeah. when I drove onto the front straight. Um, and then come back and see everyone's like happy faces and what it really means to everyone because everyone's put in so much time and effort behind the scenes at this this mm -hmm, place. Yeah. Like it's been it's been a whirlwind of a year because we've had a car that actually probably couldn't win up until this weekend, and this this is the first time we've had a car that's been competitive to win and we've taken that opportunity and we've made it ours. So yeah, it's been a really really like whirlwind of experience this year. But um, that's motor racing and that's why we love it.